Good morning, students. Uh, yesterday we learned that the relationship between zeros and its coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Today we are going to learn the relationship between zeros and its coefficients of a cubic polynomial. Okay. So if we consider cubic polynomial f of x is equal to a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus b. Okay. Uh, this polynomial is cubic because degree of this polynomial is 3. Okay. So if degree is 3, we call this polynomial as a cubic polynomial. Okay. So for quadratic polynomial, there are two relations alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by and alpha into beta is equal to c by. Okay. So for cubic, cubic polynomial, there are three relations. First relation is alpha plus beta plus gamma ok so first uh, there are this is cubic polynomial so there are three zeros that is a alpha beta and one more is there that is a gamma so this one is new that is alpha beta and gamma are zeros first time writing this are zeros of f of x ok so three relations are first one is alpha plus beta plus gamma that is a sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a then second relation is alpha into beta plus beta into gamma plus alpha into gamma is equal to c by a and third one is product of zeros that is alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus b by so alternate plus minus sign is there minus b by then c by and then minus d by ok so here cubic polynomial is like this way quadratic polynomial is f of x is equal to for the right quadratic polynomial f of x is equal to x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros. So similarly cubic polynomial we can write f of x is equal to k into x cube minus sum of zeros that is alpha plus beta plus gamma into x square plus this relation alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma into x and minus alpha beta gamma ok so this is the cubic polynomial if relations are given then how we write cubic polynomial by using this x cube minus alpha plus beta plus gamma into x square plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma into x and minus alpha beta gamma ok here also alternate plus minus sign first is positive then negative then positive then negative ok now we will take example on this ok so first I will write this three relations and this polynomial uh, this side ok so here the first time writing these relations ok so first one is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to c by alpha beta gamma is equal to minus c by and polynomial is f of x is equal to k into x cube minus alpha plus beta plus gamma into x square plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma into x and minus alpha beta gamma ok now we will take example on it ok first example is verify that 3 minus 1 and minus 1 by 3 are the zeros of the cubic polynomial f 
of x sorry p of x is equal to 3x cube minus 5x cube minus 11x minus 3 and then verify the relationship between zeros and its coefficients okay so first we have to verify that these three are the zeros of the cubic polynomial are are there or not okay so how we will verify this we have to put x is equal to 3 first so p of 3 that is equal to first i'm writing as p of x so p of x is equal to 3x cube minus 5x square minus 11x minus 3 then first we have to put 3 so p of 3 is equal to 3 into 3 cube minus 5 into 3 square minus 11 into 3 minus 3 okay so if we simplify this 3 cube is 27 27 3 is 81 3 square is 9 9 5 is 45 11 3 33 minus 3 So this addition is 81. So 81 minus 81 is zero. Okay. So if we will get answer is zero, means this is remainder. Okay. So if remainder is zero, so that this three is zero of this p of x. Okay. So here we can write x is equal to three is zero of p of x. Okay. So similarly, we have to verify minus one and minus one value. Okay. So first we will verify minus one. So p of minus one is equal to three into minus one cube minus five into minus one square minus eleven into minus one minus three. So minus one cube is minus one because negative number is there. So cube of negative number is negative. So minus one cube is minus one into three minus three minus one square is one square of negative integer that is a positive. So minus one square is one one into minus five minus five minus eleven into minus one plus eleven and this is minus three. So minus three minus five minus eight minus three eleven like minus eleven. And this plus zero, so answer is zero. So x is equal to minus one is a zero of p of x. Okay. Similarly, we have to verify minus one by three. Okay. So p of minus one by three is equal to three into minus one by three cube minus five into minus one by three square minus eleven into minus one by three minus three. Okay. So if we verify this, minus one by three cube is minus one by twenty-seven. This is minus five upon, or we can write like this: so minus five as it is. Minus one by three square is one by nine. Minus eleven into minus one plus eleven by three, and this is minus. Okay. So this three 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 nine is a twenty-seven. So minus one by nine. Minus five by nine plus eleven by three minus three. Okay, so if we simplify this, now I'm writing here. So minus one by nine minus five by nine that is minus six by nine plus eleven by three minus three. Okay, so minus six by nine. If we reduce this, so we will get here minus three two plus six three three zero nine. So minus two by three. Plus eleven by three minus three. So minus two plus eleven that is a minus okay plus nine. So nine by three is three. Three minus three is zero. Okay. So here x is equal to minus one by three is a zero of p of x. Okay. Now we have to verify relation means here alpha is three. Beta is equal to minus one and gamma is equal to minus one by three. Okay. Now we can verify the relation between zeros and its coefficients. So we verify uh, this relationship between zeros and its coefficients. Okay. For that, I am writing p of x is equal to three x cube 
minus 5 square minus 11 x minus 3 okay so first we will write values of a b c and d okay because we know that standard form of cubic polynomial that is a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d okay so if we compare this polynomial with even polynomial we can write values of a b c and d okay so a is equal to 3 b is equal to minus 5 c is equal to minus 11 and d is equal to minus 3 okay now we will verify these three relations alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by then the second relation and third relation okay so we will start from first one that is a alpha plus beta plus gamma so here i am writing to verify alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by so lhs is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to alpha is okay here i am writing zeros also alpha is equal to 3 beta is equal to minus 1 and gamma is equal to minus 1 by already we verify these are the zeros so here i am writing this alpha plus beta plus gamma now we have to find this one so alpha plus beta plus gamma that is 3 plus minus 1 plus minus 1 by 3 that is 3 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 2 minus 1 by 3 that is a, if we make same denominator 3 to the 6 minus 1 upon 3 that is a 5 by 3 so this is LHS now we have to verify or we have to find RHS so RHS is minus B by A so here value of B is minus 5 so minus of minus 5 divided by value of A is 3 so it is a 5 by 3 so LHS and RHS are equal therefore alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by ok similarly we can verify second and third relation ok now we will verify second relation ok so I am rubbing this one so second relation is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to c by ok so lhs that is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to so put all the values alpha is 3 into beta is minus 1 so here you can give bracket so 3 into minus 1 plus beta minus 1 gamma minus 1 by 3 plus alpha into gamma that is 3 into minus 1 by 3 ok so 3 into minus 1 minus 3 this minus 1 into minus 1 by 3 that is a plus 1 by 3 and this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled so minus 1 will get ok so minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 plus 1 by 3 so if you make same denominator minus 4 into 3 that is minus 12 plus 1 upon 3 that is minus 11 by 3 ok now we have to find RHS so RHS is equal to C by A so value of C is minus 11 so minus 11 by 3 so you can see here LHS is minus 11 by 3 RHS also minus 11 by 3 therefore LHS is equal to RHS then here alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to C by A ok so similarly we have to verify third relation so third relation is ok now I am rubbing this one third relation is product of the zeros ok 
सो अल्फा बीटा गैमा इज इक्वल टू माइनस ए बाई एल एच एस इज इक्वल टू अल्फा बीटा गैमा सो अल्फा इज थ्री बीटा इज माइनस वन गैमा इज माइनस वन बाई टू सो दिस थ्री एंड दिस थ्री विल गेट कैंसल बिकॉज ऑल जीरोज आर इन इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑल प्रोडक्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड सो वी कैन कैंसल दिस थ्री एंड दिस थ्री एंड माइनस वन इंटू माइनस वन इज प्लस वन सो एल एच एस इज वन आर एच एस दैट इज माइनस डी बाई सो माइनस वैल्यू ऑफ डी इज माइनस थ्री एंड अपॉन ए इज थ्री सो थ्री बाई थ्री दैट इज वन सो एल एच एस इज इक्वल टू आर एच एस That is alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by. Okay. So first, in this example, first we verified three minus one and minus one by three are zeros. And next, we verified these three relation. That is alpha plus beta plus gamma minus b by alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to c by a. And alpha beta gamma is equal to minus c by. Okay. Now we will take second example. Okay. Second example is find a cubic polynomial with the sum sum of the product of its zeros taken two at a time and product of its zeros as two minus seven and minus fourteen respectively. Okay. So first, what are the given quantities? Sum of the zeros is given. You have to find a cubic polynomial, and sum of the zeros means there are three zeros, and sum of the zeros is given. So that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is given two. Okay. Then sum of the product of its zeros taken two at a time means alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to Minus seven, okay, and product of its zeros means alpha, beta, gamma. That is minus four, and we have to form a cubic polynomial. So we have this cubic equation. That is f of x is equal to k into x cube minus Sum of zeros that is alpha plus beta plus gamma into x square plus sum of the product of its zeros taken two at a time means this alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma into x and minus product of zeros that is alpha beta gamma. Okay. Now we have to put this value. So k into x cube minus alpha plus beta plus gamma is two. So two into x square plus alpha alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma. That is minus seven. So minus seven into x and minus alpha beta gamma. That is minus fourteen. Okay. So if we simplify this, k into x cube. Minus two x square minus seven x plus forty. Okay, where k is non-zero real number. Okay, or opposite can write non non-zero real number. Okay, so cubic polynomial required cubic polynomial is k into x cube minus two x square minus seven x. Plus forty. Okay, so in exam they can ask question same way. Sum product of sum of product of zeros taken two at a time and product of zeros is given. And if we have to form cubic polynomial, then we have to use this standard form. Okay, so we will get required cubic polynomial. Okay, now we will take next example. Example is. If two zeros of the polynomial f of x is equal to x cube minus 4x square minus 3x plus 12 are root 3 and minus root 3, then find its third zero. Okay. So here we have to suppose that alpha is equal to root 3. 
बीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस रूट थ्री एंड गैमा बी द थर्ड जीरो ओके सो वी हैव टू यूज रिलेशन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ गैम ओके सो अल्फा प्लस बीटा प्लस गैमा इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी बाय अल्फा इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री बीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस रूट थ्री एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड गैमा सो गैमा एज इट इज इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी बाय सो हियर वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज Here we know that value of a is one, so a is the coefficient of x cube. B is the coefficient of x square. So here the coefficient of x square is minus four. So value of b is minus four, and divided by a that is the coefficient of x cube. So it is a one. So here root three minus root three plus gamma is equal to four. So root three minus root three will get cancelled. So gamma is equal to four. So third zero of this polynomial is four. Okay. So similarly, we will take next example. Example four is find the zeros of the polynomial f of x is equal to x cube minus five x square minus sixteen x plus eighty. If its two zeros are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign. Okay. Means Suppose if I am taking one zero is two, then another zero is minus two. Okay, means they are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign. So magnitude is same, it is two. But here one is positive, another one is negative. So same way, there are three zeros. They are considered in alpha, beta, and gamma are zeros of f x okay but here alpha and beta are equal in magnitude means alpha plus beta we can take that is a zero means value of beta is minus alpha okay because both are equal in magnitude so alpha and beta are equal in magnitude so value of beta we can take minus alpha Okay, so alpha plus beta is equal to zero. Both are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign. So alpha plus beta is zero. Okay. So this is given, and we have to find all the three zeros. Okay. So we have to find first relation that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by. So here alpha plus beta is zero. So zero plus gamma. Is equal to minus b by so minus value of b is minus five so minus five upon value of b is one so upon one that is a five by one so gamma is equal to five so we will get third zero that is a gamma is equal to five okay if you understand this alpha plus beta is equal to zero means beta is equal to minus alpha. Okay, or you can take directly zeros are alpha minus alpha and gamma. Okay, because here these two zeros are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign. So alpha, beta, these are equal in magnitude. So beta value of beta is minus alpha. Okay, so here we will get first zero that is gamma is equal to five. Now we will take Third relation that is alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus b by. So alpha into beta into gamma. So value of gamma is five. Okay. Alpha into beta is equal to minus alpha. Okay. So alpha into minus alpha into five is equal to minus b by. So value of b is eighty. Upon value of a is one, so minus five alpha square is equal to minus eighty. That is, five alpha square is equal to eighty. So alpha square is equal to eighty divided by five. That is a sixty. So alpha is equal to plus minus four. Okay. So if 
we take medicine here this alpha is equal to plus minus 4 and dividing this in case two cases okay so if alpha is plus 4 okay so if alpha is plus 4 value of beta is minus alpha okay so beta is equal to minus alpha means value of beta is minus 4 okay so in this first case we have three zeros that is alpha is equal to 4 beta is equal to minus 4 and gamma is equal to 5 okay and second case is if alpha is equal to minus 4 so beta is equal to minus alpha means minus of minus 4 that is a plus 4 okay so if alpha is equal to minus 4 beta is equal to 4 so alpha minus 4 beta is equal to 4 and gamma that is a 5 okay so zeros are 4 minus 4 and 5 okay zeros are same but values of alpha and beta is different okay so if alpha is 4 beta is minus 4 if alpha is minus 4 beta is 4 and gamma is constant okay so three zeros are minus 4 plus 4 and 5 okay now we will take next example if the example is if the zeros of the polynomial f of x is equal to x cube minus x square plus x plus 1 are a minus b a and a plus b means alpha is this a minus b beta is a and gamma is a plus b then we have to find the value of a and b okay so first i am writing this alpha is equal to a minus b beta is equal to a and gamma is equal to a plus b okay you can change the order also means you can suppose this one is alpha also this is beta this is gamma okay anyway you can suppose that and then we have to find the value of a and b okay so first relation is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a okay so this b and this b is different here for that i am supposing this one is capital b okay and this is capital a okay so alpha plus beta plus gamma so alpha is a minus b plus beta is a gamma is a plus b is equal to minus b by a so value of b is minus 3 this b is coefficient of x square so minus 3 upon value of a is 1 that is coefficient of x cube so here minus b plus b cancel a plus a plus a that is a 3a is equal to 3 so a is equal to 1 okay so we will get value of a is 1 now we can use this third relation alpha beta gamma is equal to minus a by a so alpha is a minus b into beta is a gamma is a plus b is equal to minus here you can again change that capital D and capital A I am taking so minus of D D is last that is constant term so minus 1 upon value of A is 1 so this product is minus 1 so A minus B into A plus B A square minus B square and into this A here we put value of A is 1 so 1 into 1 square that is 1 minus b square is equal to minus 1. So 1 minus b square is equal to minus 1. Minus b square we have to shift here and minus 1 shift here. So 1 plus 1 is equal to b square. So value of b square is equal to 2 that is value of b is plus minus root 2. Okay. So value of a is 1 and value of b is plus minus root 2. Okay. Understand everyone this? So similarly, you have to solve more examples from worksheet. Okay. 
and if there is doubt we will discuss in ps period okay